Hi, I'm Danny. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll show you how to diagnose a window motor that's no longer going up or down. I'll do this on my 2009 Honda Civic. Let's get started. So let me show you what's going on. The left rear stuck in the down position, so now I can't use it at all. Today's video is not sponsored by anybody and the tools that I'm gonna use coming up in this video, I will put them in the description in case you wanna purchase them. If you use my Amazon link, it does help support my channel. And speaking of supporting my channel, if you subscribe, I would appreciate it. Let's get back to the video. I'm going to be using the Innova 5420 to diagnose this job. This tool is actually perfect for window motors and powering up components. And I don't feel like I gave you an introduction on this yet, and I've used it in a couple of my videos. So let me go ahead and do that now, and then we'll get started diagnosing the window switch. The Innova hooks to your vehicle's battery. Negative. Positive and now it becomes part of your electrical system. So I can check grounds. So the green light here means ground, and then it also gives you a voltage. I can check power. The red light says power. This is like a test light on steroids. I can also twist this and do the same thing just to make it easier to see. There we go, and then we can also power up components. So right here, this is an auxiliary ground. So this ground is the same as the ground on your battery. So it's always going to be a good ground. And if I want to power up a light, it's simple. I just put it there and I supply power through the switch. And my light comes on. I can also supply a ground by just pushing this button. So I'll start by removing the master switch. This is the most efficient way that I saw to diagnose any kind of window problem. To remove the master switch, you need a flat blade screwdriver. And then if you just come in here, there's like a little tab. Hopefully you can see it. And just get a screwdriver in there, kind of as you're pulling up. And once you get it up, then you have to rock it um, towards the rear of the car and then it just comes off. So what you're doing is this is kind of a hook and it hooks right in there. And then right here, this is just a clip and it clips in there. So from there, we've got all our test wires here and let me go ahead and just the clip right here, we're gonna just push it down and pull it off. So now here's all our test wires. So let's start making a few tests. So what I'm gonna do is at the connector, at the switch, I'm gonna check to make sure it's getting all its powers and grounds. So number 10 should be a ground. And let me go ahead and probe it. So it's getting a green light and zero volts. So that's a ground. Number 11, this should be a ground also. And let me see, here we go. So that one also, green light, zero voltage. So number 15, so this one's a red one, number 15. So this should have fused power uh, and it's fuse number 32. So let's make sure it's got power. So this one's for the right rear motor and that works, but I wanted to check it because number um, 20, this is a purple wire. This should have power also and this is to the left rear window and that's our problem window. And as you can see, this one has no power and this comes from fuse number 33 so let's go ahead and check fuse number 33 so let's get the fuse checked so it should be this one here but nothing on that side 
I got something on the outside. So that one's blown. Let me just check it with the next one. That's good. That's good. And here's, here's our culprit right here. All right. So let's remove the fuse. I have a new one to replace it with. There we go. Let's just recheck the fuse. We got good on there, good out of there. So with my new fuse in, let's go back to the purple wire. And there we go. Now we got power there. So let's plug it in here. Let's test our window. Oh, that was the wrong one. It's the rear window. Oh, wrong one. So now the window works. Perfect. Now let's see if the rear switch works also. All right, so it doesn't go up and it doesn't go down, but I can't actually test it down. I don't hear anything, but let me use the master switch to roll the window up. All right, so let me test it here. All right, so now it goes down, but it won't go up. So let's pull the switch and let's check the switch. Most likely it's a switch, but let's, let's test it. Same thing on this side, the flat blade screwdriver gets into that tab, pulls it up, and we're gonna disconnect the connector here. Same, same little tab here. So at the rear switch here, the red wire goes into the switch. And as you flip the switch, if you go up, it'll be the yellow wire. The power will go through the switch and come out the yellow wire. If you go down, it'll come out the brown wire to make the window go down. So I need to determine which one of these pins um, are the yellow, brown, and red. So the switch actually goes, goes in this way. So the red wire is at the bottom. So our red wire will be here. All right. And then our yellow wire. So what I'm using is these. Our yellow wire is going to be here. And then our brown wire is going to be here. So let me show you how to test the motor right at the window switch here. So on this one, the yellow wire goes directly down to the motor. So I'm gonna put a back probe, right? on that one and the brown wire also goes down to the motor so we'll put a back probe on the brown one and then it just needs to see power and ground so i'm going to use the anova again and i'm going to put the auxiliary ground lead on one side and then we're going to power up the other side and the window will go one way or the other all right, and then if I switch these two leads around and power it, it'll go the other way. So I can also check the condition of my window motor. I'll be measuring current, and that's gonna be in our next video. But let's go ahead and check that switch. All right, so it's all laid on the bench. So this one here is the supply power. And then this one here would be the down. So if I push this switch, it should switch to power and you should hear a tone and then that should change. And you do. So now if I put it here, if the switch is still good, this is the up portion, you should see the same thing, it should change. And it doesn't. 
So that verifies our switch is bad. Now I could have done the same thing with this. Let me show you how I would have done it if I used this. So I would have taken the auxiliary ground lead and we were just checking for continuity again. That would go here. And then I would touch it here and then I would work the switch. Green light came on. And if I went to the window upside, I got nothing. So you can check it the same way with this as the meter. I was able to show you today how to diagnose the rear window motor if it's not going up and down. It ended up being a window switch, but I never did show you why that fuse blew. That's going to be part of my next video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.